Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for February 12th through the 18th. And because of the special love holiday, I've chose a couple of love oracle cards or decks. So we're going to just see what comes up. This is for the sun sign of Taurus. If you want to apply it to your moon, rising, Venus, whatever, it's up to you. Now just keep in mind that this uh, is not a private reading. Just take what does resonate and leave the rest. Embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. Embrace them. Embrace them. Acknowledge them. Acknowledge your feelings. Don't push them down. There's no need to hide them. Express your feelings. Even if you're just expressing them to yourself. Okay? Ooh. <laughs> Express. Okay. All right. Express your feelings. Heart-to-heart <laughs> -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. This card came out and flipped over. You guys saw what happened. I was just saying it. Okay? Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay? Don't push them down. If you're feeling something and you need to get it out, get it out. Kindly. Okay? Embrace your emotions this week. They are real. Okay? Don't push them down. Whatever you're feeling, you may feel overwhelmed. Could be overwhelm overwhelming happiness. We'll see. Whew. For many of you, you know, I feel like you've lost some focus. You may feeling like you've lost some concentration in some area of your life. Um, maybe there's been some unreasonable demands upon you, or maybe you've been being unreasonable with yourself. I feel like there, that your intuition is trying to tell you something, and maybe you don't want to hear it, so you're trying to push it down, okay? That could certainly be the case. You may be, your guide, your inner guide could be saying, all right, they're, they're making, you know, you're feeling something, and you're like, oh, I, I can't be feeling this, so I'm going to push it down, you know, but that... When you when your feelings are, are talking to you, that's kind of part of your, your inner guide telling you something, okay? So with this um, High Priestess card, there's some kind of a divine um, connection, I believe, here. And you couldn't be missing opportunities in love if you keep, continue to push down your feelings. I feel like, you know, there's you're dealing with somebody who has the best of intentions. Um, somebody who is loving without expectations. Maybe it's you being called to love without expectations. Love unconditionally. Okay? It is the master of your emotions, this card is. So it's really being able to embrace your emotions and being able to express them fully. So it definitely is a week. I feel, you know, I kind of think that this is going to be a week of love. But it's scary love. It's like, oh my God, where is this coming from? You could be dealing with somebody from your past. And, you know, you're scared to start over. Maybe somebody from your past really hurt you. Maybe you were dealing with somebody who was really conceited and made unreasonable demands upon you. You could have been dealing with somebody who was very self-centered and now you're scared. I, I feel like it's time for you to start fresh, go down a new road, start a new journey. But there's fears of being, love, being loved unconditionally. It's like, are you really going to love me for who I am? Really? Really? Are you really going to love me for who I am? I, I, this is kind of hard to believe. You know, and I feel like many of you are, are feeling like, this is too good to be true, for one thing. And your inner guide is absolutely talking to you and you're ignoring it, okay? Now we have these two mirroring each other. You guys are dealing with a soulmate, okay? Uh, there's a soulmate connection here, whether it's somebody from a past, a past life, or, or somebody, you know, 
new, I feel like it's somebody from a past life or somebody from the past, though. There's a soulmate connection because these are soulmates, all right? Even though this one is reversed, okay, these are both inner guide cards as well. So most, you guys are hearing messages and you're pushing them down. And that's why this card came out. It's like you're receiving, you know cues that you need to go this way you need to do this you need to do that and you're like oh no 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 because I'll just be rejected anyway you know you're being called to have faith and to start a new journey to take a risk all right because you know there's no need for you to lose opportunities in love because you're scared it's time for you to believe in yourself again stop blocking love and believe in yourself Oh my goodness, there's just a lot of, um, it's time for you to be, to really become clear of what you want. Do you want to stay stuck in the past? Do you want to keep throwing love away? Do you want to keep feeling like you're not worthy? Or do you really want to let go of this confusion that you have about your worthiness, okay? I feel like there's lack of wish fulfillment here. There's lack of, lack of you your dreams coming true because you have lost some faith. And it's time for you to get some faith back, okay? Because as soon as you bring the faith back, love is coming. So I think this is a week of love. I think that you're being offered some sort of love. Could be somebody from the past, a past life, you know. Um... But you have this tendency to block love out of fear, fear of rejection, fear of um, not being worthy. I'm not good enough, you know, and I feel like you're like, are you really going to love me the way that I am? Because I, I find that hard to believe. OK, so I think that there's been somebody who treated you, you know, they were self-centered. They were conceited. They didn't really focus on you. You know, they didn't give you what you needed in a relationship. You were dealing with somebody who. Well, could perhaps with the ruthless, okay? So now, this is in the past, okay? you got to stop clinging to that past. You need to stop clinging like you're not worthy. You need to stop feeling like, I can't be myself because this person didn't like me. This person didn't like me, so I can't be myself. I must not be worthy. You need to stop feeling like that. You need to let that go. It's time for you to follow the plan that's already been written you know the script was written this didn't work out for a reason and this could be any sign okay then you were dealing with somebody who who didn't find you worthy tough shit excuse my language for them it was their loss not yours it was not your loss because you have somebody else and it could be any sign you have somebody else coming in that perhaps wants to offer you love that it could be a beautiful beautiful opportunity for new love emotional support bliss okay happiness there's a new opportunity coming but you have to really make a choice based on faith okay faith is needed here there's a possibility for your dreams to come true if you don't throw it away okay you can't throw it away i feel like you need to communicate your fears to this new person i think there's a new love interest and you need to com communicate your fears you need to communicate how how you don't feel worthy if you don't feel worthy tell them that okay you need to really embrace your emotions don't push down your feelings i mean it's true you feel this way because of past treatment and now you know this person this new love to build a foundation, you have to be able to communicate. So I feel like it's a it's a week of love where you really have these heart-to-heart -heart conversations with somebody and it's going to bring you closer together if you can get over that fear of, I don't even dare to tell this person this because he might not like me, you know, or she, he or she might not like me. You know, you need to really acknowledge your feelings and communicate them. Because right now you're blocking love. You're blocking love because there's lack of faith. And you're being called to take a risk and to have faith. And to make this clear decision. Do you want love or, or not? If you want love, you have to have faith in the future and not cling to the past. Okay? You have to have faith in the future and not cling to the past.
Yeah, this past commitment is haunting you. It is. This past contentment. It's like I wasn't content. You know, I thought I was content, but I was treated badly. And, it, you know, now I'm like really scared of commitment. I think many of you are very scared of commitment. But the fact of the matter is, is that you deserve it. And it's a time of, it's really, you, it's a time of renewal. Whatever happened in this, in this past script that was written has brought you a renewal that you needed, okay? It was leading you closer to the one. It was leading you closer to this, this true love, okay? It really was. So whoever you were dealing with that wasn't the right one was getting you ready for the right one and I feel like like the right one is here okay you just have to you just have to be ready for this new start okay because it's time to release the past you know that it is it's time to release the past there's no need to hang on to it and many of you are doing that I think it's it's really time of um, taking action okay I feel like you've been patient long enough Okay, you have. It's like the, I can't, there's no need to sit around here anymore. You might as well have the faith. You might as well take a risk. Otherwise, your ships are never going to come in. If you don't take this risk and have faith, you could end up alone. And then, you know, it's really a time of, of hope and inspiration. A time of uh, opening up. Okay, it's really it's really a time of healing, whether you know it or not. I think many of you have healed, and and now it's time for you to really stop basing your future relationships on your past relationships. Oh, see, you have to love yourself unconditionally, okay? Because I think you're dealing with somebody who loves you for who you are, even though you don't love you for who you are, okay? And this person might not be in love with you yet. This is a new beginning in love. That's what I see. But I think they like you the way that you are, but you don't. You don't. You don't see yourself that way. I feel like you have many options in love, perhaps, but you lack love for yourself, okay? It's really time for you to love yourself, Express your emotions and really acknowledge your feelings. You know, it's okay. It's okay to feel that way. Those are real feelings. And if this person is the right one for you, they will understand and they will support you. And I think that they're going to. I feel like there's a new opportunity in love here for many, many, many of you. And you are going to be called to trust your instincts okay really really trust your instincts and communicate with this person instead of hiding your feelings tell them talk to them and as you speak with this new person the foundation that you are building with this person will start to grow oh my goodness the time is now the time is now what are you waiting for I see that many of you guys have stalled love out of lack of self-worth. Self okay? Love has been stalled because lack of self-worth, lack of self-confidence, lack of self-esteem, lack of self-respect, lack of mastering your emotions. Okay? It's time for you to have the courage that you're also lacking. Okay? It's time for you to have the courage to act now, to move, to move on, to go ahead, to do it. Because eights are go ahead, do it. These are both reversed, okay? Faith, faith, have faith in this new person that has really good intentions for you. I feel like there's a new person that has entered many of your lives and your, your fear is driving you it's driving this right now it's in your hands do you want this passion do you or do you want to throw it away there's a chance for new love with somebody who has really really good intentions and it could lead to a dream come true 
if you look at it like that instead of basing this new person this new relationship on the past where you were with somebody who was conceited and self-centered and ruthless and wasn't able to offer you love wasn't able to offer you a commitment just because this person wasn't able to offer you a commitment doesn't mean this person isn't I have to tell you do not throw away this opportunity I feel like there's an opportunity for you to be with someone or to get to know someone and that could lead to marriage it could lead to wish fulfillment and it could lead to love true love but it's in your hands because you have to embrace your emotions don't push them down don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions honestly discuss them please discuss your fears gently gently you don't have to go into long detail just gently tell this person what your fear is and as you do the foundation will grow so Taurus for this week I think there's a new opportunity in love should you decide to have faith and let go of the past that person was just getting you ready this next one has positive expectations good intentions for the future I would say take a risk and go for it 